my name is Falk Poyser, I'm from Fenner Katsalidis and I would like to present the uh, Yara One in Claremont Street. Um, sorry. Um, our site sits right in the center of Forest Hill, which is in South Yara, with um, Torak Road, Chapel Street and um, South Yara Station. Um, the site itself, Claremont Street along here, uh, this is our site. Um, it is, it's a quite um, dense feel to the street itself. There's a lot of um, uh, residential, commercial and retail um, developments coming up at the moment. Uh, the blue ones show the buildings which were in planning at the time that we sent in our applications. Most of them being built now and being more actually coming at the time. There's a 50 height meter limit to the site. Um, our site, or Forest Hill, um, generally has an extremely good uh, connection to uh, uh, public transport. There's trams on Chapel Street and Torah Road, and of, of course, it's the main one is the South Yara Station, and with this, um, there's a supermarket right next to it to the, uh, as well. Um, there's already an existing pedestrian link crossing from Chapel Street over to Yara Street, passing our site. And this is quite high frequented in at peak hours, people going to the Yama station. Um, so this is our site, this is the existing link here. This area has been quite well developed already and has activated facades and is quite busy at lunchtime. And this side here, sort of Daly Street, has a bit of a back of house feeling and there's a lot of services going there, deliveries and for the developments on that side itself. And there's a small tunnel just crossing over as a bottleneck for this pedestrian link, which doesn't sit on our side, it's adjacent to, uh, it sits on the neighboring title. Um, this was the existing facade, it's now, uh, there's now uh, public realm to any of these areas here, so it's, it's, it was just an existing building from Roger David, the client, and so we have replaced this. Um, the subject side itself, I sort of try to explain how the story came about. Um, there's, there's two new developments to, uh, to, the, to these two sites, and there's on the northern side, it's very likely another uh, development coming up as well. Uh, the, first, the first approach was um, as per pre from the client to have um, the entry from Claremont Street, maximizing tenancies towards Claremont Street and then having that pedestrian link in here. Car park uh, entry is from Daly Street. Um, the council has then asked if we could just do something to the corner here to improve that tunnel itself, which that was a point where we thought it's actually a, there's the uh, big chance to create an urban space for uh, to redefine actually the public realm for the entire precinct then to become a destination. Um, so we we tried to widen out rather than just the corner here, we widened out, took all the build form back by 18 meters, we kept the car park entry in there. General program was the same, it's just a bit compressed, but the tenancies, for example, and headed access to Claremont Street and to that new urban space as well. And to extend the offer for the public square, we created a tenancy also above the car park entry and then um, linked them together with a tiered stair. Um, so we took apartments out or tenancies out on that side and put further tenancies in this sort of for passive surveillance and to activate the facade within the atrium as well. And then covered this with a trellis, which by putting a roof over it, it maximizes the time it can be used for the, for the community and it helps with lighting and solar gains and we can as well just introduce a material more appropriate for a communal uh, center. The tower itself is just two shapes interlocked, uh, the oval um, being rotated to maximize views to the city as well to pinpoint down the entry for the new urban space itself. The shoulders then drop off as a reference to the neighboring buildings and then we propose rather than 50 meters to go 100 meters um, to uh, we thought it's an appropriate approach there for having an, an urban space below to mark the occasion. Uh, the public square itself, we kept the ex there's, an, there's a one and a half meters um, uh, height difference. We kept the pass as it was and we tried to create two zones of speed. One getting people, at, especially in peak hour, getting through fast 
and being then able to slow people down on the square itself. Because of the height difference and for functional reasons, we kept two platforms and then linking them together with an extension of the tiered stair. Um, there is uh, sort of a semi-enclosed uh, alfresco for the tenants here. And the main focal point is then a theater which has all the plug the plugins for um, for entertainment and then with the seating around all the way up to the tenancy for spectators and the whole thing is then softened by integrated landscape and integrated uh, seating areas around the edges so um, two minutes. sorry two minutes. okay um, the trellis itself was designed as a CLT uh, solid timber structure and then got replaced with a steel structure and in a malomanium uh, and aluminium framing. Um, the finishes itself are all coordinated with um, Stonic and Council so that the uh, language of floor finishes along the entire pedestrian pass is just maintained. We also propose to extend this over uh, the Ara Street, and it might still come, but it's not on our boundary, and so it's not a, uh, we can't influence it at the moment. Um, the trellis itself stops about four meters above ground, and it's open to the sides to distribute wind, but it's covered with glass from above. Um, the northern facade, this is the tenancies in here, we've put in uh, terraces to further activate that facade itself. It looks a bit empty at the moment with the client because of COVID have issues. I've just finished it three months ago. I have issues at the moment to find tenants and that hopefully will all be very quickly activated. Um, just the plant itself, so we are, this is the tenancies along the atrium with the terraces, uh, the tower shape above the podium with terraces and um, it's just then the shoulders combined with the oval the oval itself creating terraces, the tower um, facade, and then there is the uh, the roof uh, terrace. So we, we try to democratize the usage of the other people from the law. They all can, so a, because I'm amazing view, so that everyone can actually um, enjoy the views from the, from the roof itself. So that's a square in its entirety. So there's the planter boxes at either end. They're just being planted here, obviously, they haven't started to grow yet, but. Um, um, the composition of materials are all in, they're all coming out of one group. Just the facade, we take the language size of the facade to identify the building and um, just the detail, because it's aluminium, we kept them with this, with a polished stainless steel cap as, a, as a, like a mirror effect. And that's it. How good am I? Time. That's perfect. <laughs>